you're an early pioneer of tech in Indonesia, just after returning from the United States, yes. you set up Bubu.com in 1996, and that was when you didn't even have Google. What prompted you to start up? I literally was amazed and blown away by internet. I was like, oh my God, this media cannot be just a media. It's going to be like a super powerful media. It was 95 that I taught myself how to create a website through the internet. I love designing things. I love graphic design. So it started with that. Back then in Indonesia, first of all, you didn't have that much connectivity. And second, not many people really even had a PC. I have to educate our client what is an internet first before I explain what is the product and also finding the right talent for the team was quite challenging. You founded about what 10 or so companies. Is the ecosystem now more set? We're now more than 100 million internet users. Wow. We are still a mobile first country with 142% mobile penetration, 50% below 30 years old. What are some of the key challenges? Uh, we need a lot more developers, uh, skilled developers here in Indonesia because we are 17,000 islands, so e-commerce would be the right answer for doing business. And a couple of years ago, uh, Mark Zuckerberg was here. And what did you guys talk about? <laughs> we talk about SME, we need to help them be to be connected. And you know, I met him again uh, last year when we, we brought uh, our president Jokowi to Silicon Valley to visit the headquarter. And Cheryl Sandberg, are you part of her Lean In movement? She's been very supportive of the women in tech movement. It's been great to be connected with all the tech leaders. What are your thoughts about uh, sexism that prevails overall? Uh, the way I see it, it's more like the stereotype. People would come up to me and they would go, um, hi, can I meet your CEO? But then when once you can you prove uh, to people that you can do it then you know they will they will you know they will support you do you think that actually times are better for women in tech definitely uh, I've seen a number of tech startups who are led by women and they're quite successful for instance we have a startup called hijab which is a fashion Muslim fashion marketplace how do you think you will evolve in the next 10 years now I'm mostly mentoring startups and I become an angel investor. You know, uh, I'm in very much in touch with the startup and I would love to help because, you know, I have that vision and mission to make Indonesia the global digital player.